Find more games like this one on Indie Game Launchpad. Link in the description. Hello once again gamers, I'm JB and this is Let's Try Obscure Realm. The name of the developer is Soap Club. It is a kind of an action shooter. I've played it a little bit already. All right, so this is the game. It uh, you control this little guy here with a with a with a gun, and you just try and make it to the end, and they shoot you. <laughs> you try and make it to the end of the levels. I've actually played this. I've tried to get as far as I possibly can, but I have been unsuccessful. It is actually pretty dang hard. The uh, first thing, whoa, the first getting interrupted here. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. The first thing that I noticed when I started playing this game, though, is the score at the top. It uh, is immediately negative, isn't it? <laughs> the fact that my score can go to be in a negative is just crazy. I mean, like that's that that just makes me feel like I really, really suck. So I would uh, I would say maybe don't make the score come uh, go down. Okay, there we go. I was just waiting for them to stop shooting at me. Don't uh, don't make the score go below zero, or don't make the don't make the score go down if you shoot. Uh, if you want to penalize me for using ammunition, you can give me a um, a limited amount of ammunition. That that's a that's a good way of doing it. But uh, and then oh, of course, this I believe is the spread shot. Yeah, this is the spread shot. There are three gun types. Uh, there's the automatic, which I prefer honestly. The spread shot's good and everything, but the the uh, oh, there we go. Ah, these little spider guys, they just brush you when they open their eyes. Uh, the the rapid fire is the one I actually prefer over the spread shot, despite the spread shot being doing actually pretty well. Like I said, I haven't really gotten very far, and I'm not sure about the maps exactly. I think this is the right way to go. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just kind of going around. Now I'm just trying to find the door to the next level and, and then progress that way. I'll tell you one thing though, the uh, the music is really cool. I do like, ugh, just ran right into that guy. Oh, here's the, the rapid shot. Oop, oop, oh. Alright, so if I just, there, just hit R, I get penalized points, but I can I can just restart the level. Okay, come on, there we go. You move using the WASD keys and you use the mouse to point and click to shoot and kill all the enemies and then die and do all that good stuff. It's really easy to die. <laughs> yep, you can shoot the projectiles, I should say that. <laughs> oh, I should also mention that this game is available, well, it will be available on IndieGameLaunchpad.io and you can find that site in link in the description. Ugh, <laughs> it's so easy to go too fast and to run into an enemy. Oops, yeah, that was dumb of me. I almost died again. And I almost died there too. I don't think we went this way last time. Uh, the other thing I was thinking is, uh, instead of having the um, the weapons just kind of laying about and everything, I would think that it would be nice if the enemies dropped them. If there was like a chance that the enemies dropped them. Also, more uh, weapon types would be nice. I feel like you know the the different enemy types are pretty good. Later on, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a glitch. Oh, get distracted by the flashy. God. Come on. Ugh. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm, I figured out how I can drop my weapon like that by pressing right click. And then pick up another weapon by right clicking. That's another thing too, is uh, I have no idea what the uh, controls are. I mean, you get the menu, which is spacebar, uh, takes you back to that little difficulty menu in the very beginning. And then the, um, the to restart is to press R. But a uh, little, little bit of an explanation on, on how to how to play the game would be nice too, you know. Click, destroy the enemies, try and get to as many, uh, oh, that was actually kind of some skill there. Try and get to the furthest level you can. It's hard to actually progress, especially since, you know, if you die you have to restart from the beginning. Which I've never really been a fan of, honestly. Having to restart from the beginning as if, like, nothing you did mattered. You know, you get all the way to the end. Yeah. <laughs> You know, just give me more than one life, like a heart system, like in Zelda or something like that. That would be kind of nice. There we go. Let's concentrate here. <laughs> I just ran right past. Okay. Ah, there we go. Got it. Sweet. 
Got to the next level. Now we're at level three. Now we get these bouncing freaking out. Dudes, they also have weapons. They also shoot. There we go. There you go. That's what they look like. <laughs> oh my god. They freak out. Damn, they're so much faster than anything else. Oh, and then of course my gun just... Oh, did I... Uh... I apparently was playing with so I guess in every level it uh, changes your weapon back to the uh, the starter weapon which I that's not that's not bad honestly and if you have to go out and you have to find a, a new weapon oh, so I have no idea where I need to go but there is another weapon up here I'm assuming go this way can I hit those guys while their eyes are closed then they're just a target it's no big deal these guys I guess so you can shoot their projectiles. Let's go this way. Actually, I do an Oh god, oh fuck. I almost missed it. I feel like this is the right way to go. Yeah, this is the right way to go. The level design is is alright, you know, I mean obviously it changes. Oh. Did that guy escape into the next room? <laughs> I'm all right, just shoot, shoot, and make sure. Okay, level four, cool. So, have not made it this far, and I'm back to my starter weapon. Maybe I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe I don't like that. I have no idea what's there. I don't want it to kill me. Just shooting preemptively. Look at that, I'm at negative twenty thousand points. That's the goal of this game: is to get is as low of a uh, oof. That was close. Get a low of a score as possible. Most games you go for a high score. This game, you go for the low score. Great. I died. That's not right. <laughs> it's funny because I wasted all that time going that direction. And it didn't fucking matter. God. I just have to go this way. Look at that. Oh my god. I died again. Go figure. God. I'm having fun dying. Dying a lot. I die a lot in Requiem too. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that series, I, uh, I've only done one video for it so far, but I've done recordings for other ones. Alright, this way. Oh, cool. There, there's a door. Well, that was actually kind of easy to get through. Oh, and this is a very open area. Whoa! Why is it slowing down? What's up with that? Okay. That was weird. It was like almost glitching out, slowing down. Doing it again. I guess, suppose that makes it slightly easier. No idea why it's going so slow now. It's not like there's a bunch of stuff on the screen or anything like that. But it's definitely like lag. Maybe it's part of the game. It's actually slowing down even more. It's so weird. Alright. Well, maybe that... I don't know. I don't think that's part of the game. Oh, did I get hit by something? I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't even realize that there was a weapon here. Oh god! <laughs> Wait, this one. This is the one I want. No idea why it's running so slowly. It's a, it's too graphically intense for my computer to handle. You don't understand. There are a lot of polygons going on in here. Oh, there's no... Okay. Yeah, some more weapon types would be kind of cool. I know that I only have experienced the three. What is what is going on? I should just, I should just shoot and run. I should never stop shooting. Like, it doesn't matter. I should just start, never stop shooting. Whoa. Okay, I got really close dodge all of my bullets. It's like a reverse bullet hell. Oh, it's starting to speed up again. And then slow down. That's what I'll call this game. It's like a reverse bullet hell. Where the enemies have to dodge your bullets. Because you're just, you're just raining fire upon them. Wow, how did you dodge that? That is impossible. I don't believe it. Where am I going? What is <laughs> Like I feel like I'm going back in circles. Ah! I feel like this is maybe the right way. As long as I keep running into enemies, then I guess I'm going the right way, right? Well, for such a simple game, I've been playing it for a while, and I'm actually having a decent time with it. You know, I'm curious to see what the end is. Oh, shit! That didn't even fucking... Ah, oh, man! Alright, we're back to where we were before it took a while. Now I think I figured out what uh, what's causing it to slow down. Yeah, there's the door. Good, good, good. Die, die, die. I think I figured out what's causing it to slow down. It's my score. My computer's having a hard time calculating my horrible, horrible score. So wait, what do I do now? 
Oh, okay, the shoot the door. <laughs> shoot the door and bust it down. Got it. So we're on level six now. You know, I imagine you probably could generate quite a few levels. It wouldn't be that hard. It'd just be simply, you know, changing up the level design. But uh, I haven't seen any new enemy types yet. I'm assuming there's only the three, maybe? Maybe there's the three enemy types and the three different guns. Maybe you could do that. You could have the uh, spiders drop the... Um, have I killed all the guys in here? You could have the spiders drop the basic weapon. Yeah, I guess I did kill all those guys. No, oh, the exit definitely wasn't that direction. Unless I missed something. And then you could have the, the dudes that shoot the black projectiles uh, drop one of the one of them and then the, obviously the fast... Whatever the hell those things are. I can't even tell their shape. They look like a ball, but maybe they have legs. I don't know. I'm going to go this way. Try and see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rainbow balls. Call them rainbow balls. <laughs> rainbow balls, uh, spider spider top hats, and um, trench trench coat dudes. Trench coat guys. Now we got to come up with a better... Trenchies. Just call them trenchies. All right. I released all of the spiders. All right, this way. Ooh, just destructible. Oh, okay. Well, that's something different. It's just a destructible block. Okay. I'm actually proud of myself. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. What is that? A weapon? I'm assuming that's a weapon. Last time I got distracted by something, I died. Oh, here we go. Hey, level seven. Sweet. All right. Oh, I uh, lost my weapon again. Uh, here we go. Well, at least it starts you off with something, an option. I, I don't know really how far this is going to go. It's going to take me. All the levels kind of just seem the same. Ah, oh, God. How did I survive that? Oh, my God. Well, apparently that's that's uh, the next level. <laughs> Just ran straight down, and now I'm, we're on the late. I feel like I've been on this level before. Wow, it is really slowing down. My score must be super bad. Look at that. Yeah, fifty-five thousand. Mm-hmm. Wow, look how slow it's going. Why is it doing that? I don't even understand. What could possibly be making it do that? Whoa. Okay. Hey, there's there's a dude. The hell is he? He's just a big, big spider. He's not doing anything. Oh, he shoots! He shoots webs at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Apparently, there are other enemies. Well, yeah, I think that's good. I don't know how many levels there are. Maybe there's ten. Maybe there's eight. But that was definitely a lot farther than I'd ever gotten in other playthroughs. Well, that was uh, that was obscure realm. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like the video down there. If you have any feedback for the developer, go ahead and drop it in the comment section down below. It really helps them out a lot. I hope that uh, my playthrough provided some kind of feedback to maybe guide the game. It is in early access. Um, I don't know if you contact the developer, you could probably get a demo for him. Uh, from him again the name of the developer is soap club and you can find this game on uh, indiegamelaunchpad.io and that's currently the only place that i know that it's at well thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one keep on gaming gamers